three little kittens. A long time ago, and many miles away from here, in a snug little cottage at the foot of Mary Mountain, there lived a great grey cat, called Mrs. Moozer, with her happy family of three little kittens. Mrs. Moozer took good care of her little ones. She baked them nice things, and made warm clothes for them to wear in the winter time. The kittens were named Blackie, Whitey, and Spotty. They were very lively, playful, full of mischief and apt to get into trouble. One crisp day in the autumn, when they were playing about the house and yard, they lost the pretty mittens that their mother had so carefully knit for them. The kittens were very much ashamed of themselves for their carelessness, but, like the good children they were, they went to their mother and told her all about it. Three little kittens lost their mittens, when they went out to play, oh! Mama dear, we sadly fear, our mittens went astray. What? Lost your mittens, you naughty kittens, then you shall have no pie. Mew, 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 then you shall have no pie. Of course the good old cat was very much vexed with her careless little ones, and scolded them roundly. For losing the nice, warm mittens that she had knit for them with so much tender care. She had paid a buy spread and butter pie, with raisins in it, but she told the naughty kittens that they should have on of it, until they had found the lost mittens. The kittens say bright, smart little chaps, and they were soon hunting high and low, indoors and out, around the barnyard, and in the garden. They finally found their mittens, in the yard, behind the woodshed. Away they went, prancing back to their mother, waving their paws in the air to show the mittens were found. The three little kittens sought their mittens, at the foot of the mountain high, indoors, and out, they dodged about, for they were young and spry, looking here and there, and everywhere, their mittens they did spy, mew, 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 e their mittens they did spy. The three little kittens, found their mittens, lying on the ground. Oh! Mama dear, see here, see here, our mittens we have found. What? Found your mittens, you good little kittens, then you shall have some pie, purr, purr purr, 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 then you shall have some pie. So Mother Moozer rang the bell for ins put their bibs about their necks, and gave the kittens their spoons. She then placed the great, good pie on the table, and the three healthy young kittens began to eat. The pie was so good, and the kittens were so hungry, that they were a little greedy. They jostled and pushed, got their paws in the pie, and sadly soiled their bright colored, brand new mittens. Now, pie is good to put inside nice little cats, but very bad for the outside of clean mittens. When the feast was over, the kittens saw they had been careless again, so off they flew to their mother, holding up their paws, showing what had happened to their mittens. The three little kittens got pie on their mittens, and they became much coiled. Oh! Mama dear, we sadly fear, our mittens we have spoiled. You naughty kittens, go wash your mittens, and hang them out to dry, mew, 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 and hang them out to dry. The old cat was very much tried with the three heedless little kits, but she let them off with a scolding, and sent them to the wash tub, to make them clean again. This was only fun for the three little kittens. They had great sport, and Spotty splashed the water until they were all covered with suds. Then he threw a pail of water over Whitey, and got him dripping wet. But they got out the big towels, dried one another, and then they hung the three pairs of mittens on the clothesline to the yard, where the sun soon dried them. By this time the irons were hot, and with the ironing equals board on the floor, the three jolly little kittens ironed their mittens. The old cat was sitting by the window knitting, when they came to show her what they had done. The three little kittens washed their mittens, and held them up to view, oh! Mama, dear, look here, look here, they are as good as new. What? Wash your mittens, you good little kittens. But I smell a rat close by. Hush, hush, mew, 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 I smell a rat close by. After the rat, never heeding what they knocked over in their flight around the house, through the barn, away they went, all in a bunch, Blackie, Whitey, Spotty, and the old cat. Up and down, through the shed, over the garden wall, with fur bristling, and tails up, the mad race went. The rat was fleet of foot, and led the race with the cat family close upon his heels. Over hills, and down dale, away. 
away, away. Through the woods, over the valleys they sped. Never a chase was, known like this. Finally, they came to the gates of the Gladlands, where all animals dwell in peace together and the race was over. The rat shook hands with Mrs. Moozer and the three little kittens, while the calico kangaroo pinned a medal on the breast of the rat for winning the race. All the happy animals of the Gladlands gathered about and bade their new friends a hearty welcome, and now, the three little kittens, with their pretty mittens, are skipping the tray la loo, to a big bazoo, from Kalamazoo, with the calico kangaroo, where all are kind, and you'll always find, like Gaston, it is after you. Mew, 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 like Alphonse, it is after you.